Yo, what up guys, it's Jughead, and today, I'm doing a team building guide. A little, you know, thought process of what I go through when I build a team, because usually I don't have teams ready. And I just kind of build them up on the spot, I don't know, five minutes before I'm going to go look for battle, something like that. But yeah, let's get to it. So usually what I do is, I probably pick a Pokemon that I'd um, want to base the team around. Because no matter what Pokemon I'm going to use... Is gonna be the Pokemon I base the whole thing, uh, team around. So for this instance, I'm gonna choose Mega Scizor because he's the coolest uh, Pokemon in my opinion. I'm just saying my opinion. But anyway, he's adamant nature, 252 in attack, 252 in speed. The rest in HP, I think. I am not too sure. But anyway, he's running Bug Bite, Super Power, Bullet Punch, and Swords Dance. And usually, what this, what you want to do is. Mega Evolve first turn, if you think you can survive an attack, go for Swords Dance, and just kind of destroy everything with Bullet Punch, I mean, there's Bug Bite and Super Power there for coverage, but you know, you don't really need them that much, when you have Bullet Punch spam, so yeah, nothing's really gonna live Bullet Punches from this guy. Well, anyway, you can see a main weakness in uh, on this team already is that we're extremely weak to fire, right? And usually, when I come across fire attacks, they're usually going to be uh, specially bait, uh, specially offensive kind of fire attacks. So what we could do is we could have a Rotom, Calm Nature, 252 in special defense, 252 in HP, the rest in, I think, special attack. I'm not too sure. But yeah, this is going to be like, the this is going to be a support kind of Pokemon. With Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Will-O-Wisp, and the rest. Hydro Pump and Volt Switch, just, you know, stab attacks, will o -Wisp, just to burn those physical attackers and make, just cripple every physical attack, because none of them are going to be able to one it KO Rotom unless they've set up, and rest just for, you know, just so you can heal that HP back up, and usually I run uh, Chesterberry because he's got rest, and yeah, these two, uh, these two combined are actually a pretty good, you know, like, duo at the moment, but... It seems like we're weak to electric. Uh, just by looking at this, we're kind of weak to electric. I mean, Rotom uh, takes it neutral. Same with Scizor. So how about we find a Pokemon that can resist electric? And actually, I might... I'm thinking of going for Donphan. Uh, just because he's got Stealth Rocks as well. Hmm. You know, nah, you know... We'll go, we'll go with Gliscor, we'll go with Gliscor. Just because, uh, we, if I chose Donphan, it would have been weak to grass. And we want to minimize, um, the weaknesses we have. And also, since Scizor is a steel type, he's also weak, uh, and, what is it, Rotom's, Rotom doesn't resist fighting, you know. A close combat would do a lot to Scizor and Rotom's. And since we have a Gliscor, who's part flying and part ground, he can take electric hits, and he can also take fighting type hits. So, you know, it's kind of the best in both worlds, you know. And not only that, he's uh, the Rotom Gliscor kind of combo like wall is actually really good. Seeing as Gliscor Gliscor's weakness is ice or water, but Rotom resists both of them, and Rotom's weakness is grass. But you know, Gliscor. Kinda can take it. If not, you can always switch to Scizor when you know with a bug type. Anyway, so those two, those really, these three is a really good, you know, is a really good kind of core. So seeing as we have two physical attackers, oh yeah, I also run Earthquake, Toxic Protect, and a uh, knockoff with Impish Nature, 252 defense, 252 HP, and four in attack. I think. I think, um, yeah, this is really good, just the knockoff, just so you can knock off everything, because knockoff in this game is really good, guys, it's really, really good in this game, yeah, uh, it's been buffed, and not only that, I mean, you can knock off items, so, that's great, right, <clears throat> and toxic, obviously, to stall out Pokemon if you really want to, and earthquake, just for stab again, so yeah, these three, Pokemon are actually not that bad of a uh, core at the moment, so now we should probably look for a special attacker, seeing as we've got two physical attackers, 
that we could do with a special attacker, probably a fast special attacker as well. And hmm, um, I'm thinking we could go for a Hydreigon. Hmm. Because usually, why I'd run on that since he's timid, I'd probably run. I run choice specs on him. But I don't know. Um. Oh, we could have a Gengar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with Gengar. <laughs> yeah, we could go with Gengar. Yeah, because Gengar. Uh, this Gengar sashed. And seeing as there's loads of Aegis Slashes running around, um, an, an Aegis Slash would probably go for the Shadow Sneak. Try and want to KO your Gengar. It'll live with the Focus Sash, retaliate back with the Shadow Bomb, take it out. So that's really good. That's really scary. Something like that. When Geng with the high special attack stat, I mean, his poor defenses, you know, aren't really anything because you have this Focus Sash. So yeah. And not only that, I mean, the amount of coverage, you know, he has. He's got Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Thunder Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. I mean, you can replace some of them if you want, but... Or, like, for, like, a Psychic, maybe, or... His Psychic's good against uh, Venusaur. Or you could have Dark Pulse, something like that, but yeah. So, Gen Gengar's... I, I think Gengar would suit this team well. I mean, you'd want a fast special attacker. And not only that, Gengar can survive an attack... So yeah, we'll go with Gengar, we'll go with Gengar. So seeing seeing this team, I guess we're kind of weak to Psychic. Yeah, so... I mean, it's going to hit all of these guys pretty badly. So maybe we could invest in a Dark type. Hmm. This is the kind of thing you could either go for, seeing as we have... Two special attackers and two physical attackers. We could either go for a, a dark type physical attacker or a dark type special attacker. And I think, in all honesty, I mean, Bishop would be good, but then you'd have the another steel type. And not only that, it's a dark type. So flying moves would, you know, hurt a lot. So I guess we go. You know, we we could go Greninja. We can go with Greninja. Because, I mean, even though he is Dark Type and Water Type, it's not like he's going to uh, keep those that typing. <laughs> Thanks to Protein. He's got Scald, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, and Grass Knot. I mean, I might get rid of Grass Knot because I use that against Rotom, but then I realized Rotom is a really light Pokemon, so I might get rid of that for Extra Sensory or something like that. But anyway, Scald, just to burn burn them. Ice Beam, you know, standard. Uh, free, freeze Hacks are always good. Dark Pulse, Flinch Hacks, you know, that kind of thing. He's Timid, 252 Speed, 252 Special Attack, and the rest is in HP, I think. Um, I mean, Greninja's a really fast Pokemon, because looking at this team now, Scissor, does, Scissor isn't the fastest Pokemon. He, I mean, he has priority, so that's good, but he's not the fastest. Rotom is nowhere near the fastest Pokemon here. A uh, Gliscor is definitely not one of the fastest Pokemon. I mean, he's got speed, but not really fast Pokemon. He can't compete with other Pokemon for speed. Gengar is a fast Pokemon. And of course, Greninja a fast Pokemon. So having two Pokemon out of like five at the moment would be... <coughs> is really good because... Then I know I can outspeed some stuff with these guys. And now, for the final Pokemon, I kind of want a fast physical attacker just because I don't want to lose, um, lose, uh, because of speed. And I don't know, maybe something like Infernape would help, actually. Hmm. I mean, he's weak to Psychic, but I've got, uh, Greninja to kind of take care of that Psychic weakness. He's weak to ground, but then I've got three Pokemon that can resist ground. So yeah, I think we'll go with Infernape. He's Choice Banded. Oh yeah, I'd, I run Life Orb on Greninja. I mean, some people like running Focus Sash, but I like the extra power. 
And so yeah, for my Inferno Ape, I'm running Jolly, 252 in attack, 252 in speed, the rest are in uh, HP, I think. <clears throat> He's got Iron Fist. Uh, he, I've also give, given him the Choice Band. He's got Close Combat, Flare Bliss, Mark Punch, and U-Turn. Um, I was actually debating whether to switch, uh, change U-Turn to Thunder Punch, but I guess that's, you know, if you guys need an electric move. But in this case, we have a Rogue Swarm with Volt Switch anyway, so we can just keep U-Turn on Infernape. And it also helps it um, with Switch Initiative as well, because in case odds aren't in our favor, we could always switch out with the U-Turn. So looking at this team right now, it's a pretty standard, you know, team. Uh, I'm pretty sure this team would do okay. I mean, I haven't tested it. I just made it in 10 minutes. So, I mean, I'm going to go try it out now. But yeah, I mean, obviously this has its flaws. I probably see a couple of flaws in this team. But, yeah, I mean, for a team that's built in 10 minutes, you know, it's going to be alright. It's alright, so if you guys try it out, I mean, let me know what you think, let me know how to improve this team, if you got, if you guys got any ideas, but yeah, this is just a standard kind of OU team, but yeah. So thanks for watching guys, leave a like, comment, sub, and see ya!